Okay, for a while now, I've been using a scope for a lot of my diag testing, and I've got a prime example of why I do it, why every tech should really be getting into it and doing it. I've got a 06 Dodge Ram out here that is intermittently setting a P720 code, which is a output speed sensor code. Uh, most time it's fine, just every now and then it'll set this code and it, the guy can't figure out why. It's not constantly doing it. So, brought it to me and I found this problem. And I don't know if I could have found it without a scope. Let me show you. The output speed sensor is just a two wire sensor and it goes straight to the ECM and the ECM supplies a ground, it's a ground, and then the signal. These are actually on a, about a two volt bias voltage. So th even though this says ground, this is not like a true body ground. This rides on a two volt uh, bias voltage. This is what the waveform would look like. The blue trace is on the ground side, the red trace is on the signal side, which is what the engine computer is actually seeing. So it's just a AC waveform, okay? This is all good. This is driving and right here is our fault. Let me zoom in here. This right here is a short to ground. And as you can see, it's only on the blue trace, which is our ground circuit. And as you can see, when this shorts to ground, it drops my bias voltage off. So I lose my bias voltage, which causes this, this strange little spike here. And the reason why you need a scope to see stuff like this is because we can measure the amount of time it takes for this to happen. This thing was shorted to ground for 1.1 milliseconds. That's like snap of a finger, that was shorted to ground. How can you catch that without a scope? You're just not going to. So now that I see this and I know which wire I have the issue on and what the exact issue is, I know this wire is getting shorted to ground I can find this. So now that I know I'm looking for a short to ground, I trace the harness and I found this little tiny spot right here. This little spot. That's so small. This little spot right here was just barely rubbing on the top of the transmission right in here. But that's what the fault is right there. And if you look at scan data, scan data only shows these little, little peaks here. These little bumps. So this right here is not going to tell you what's happening to the circuit. So really, without seeing that, I mean you'd be spending a lot of time on this truck trying to figure out this problem. And it took me maybe driving 15 minutes to get it to, to do this, to where I've seen this, um, just on a slightly bumpy road, bam, there it was. Um, and then I knew exactly what I was looking for. Without knowing that information, somebody had spent a long time trying to figure out this problem but not for me, there it is.